Let's bring in our senior White House correspondent, Cecilia Vega, also our chief political analyst, Matthew Dowd, right here with me. Cecilia, let me begin with you. We just saw that reporting from Pierre Mueller now reaching into the Justice Department, also reaching pretty deep now into the White House. It is clear the president is also being investigated. Yeah, he just a few days ago, George, said that he himself is not under investigation. But, uh, I mean, as you say, certainly his top aides, his close advisors, are definitely part of this probe. In fact, in just the coming days, uh, we know that one of his closest aides, Hope Hicks, the communications director here at the White House, will be sitting down with uh, Mueller's investigators. Same for White House counsel Don McGahn. But, George, publicly, look, no one here is saying that they're nervous. This is very much business as usual for this White House. Privately, we know everyone here has lawyers. Uh, you, you can't imagine that certainly this is not front and, and it's centered at, at many minds here at this White yeah, House. Absolutely, Matt, Dad, you know this from experience as well. I ran into a Trump associate yesterday who says once you get to this situation inside the White House, it's every man for himself. Absolutely. They're all going to be looking for their pathway exit out of this thing. I think the problem is is that everybody in the Trump organization from the president on down has said there's been no contacts with the Russians, had said there was no contacts with the Russians throughout. We now know there's been 30 or 40 plus contacts that they figured out in this. Either there's mass amnesia or the Russians have one of those neuralizers from Men in Black. They click every time <laughs> they meet with the Russians. <laughs> Let's talk about Roy Moore as well. So see a pretty clear uh, over the weekend, yesterday on this week, I had uh, the President's Legislative Director, Mark Short, on there. The, they want this issue with Roy Moore, these questions about Roy Moore's accusers to just go away. Yeah, George, they want to talk about tax reform this week. I mean, this is front and center at their legislative agenda. But uh, you pushed uh, Mark Short repeatedly during that interview, as, as we have here at the White House, to push aides to ask whether the president is comfortable with Roy Moore being the next sitting senator from Alabama. And you can't get a straight answer here. Um, I was struck by another aide who on the Sunday shows said that he doesn't know if who the, the president doesn't know who to believe when it comes to Roy Moore's or his accusers. So a lot of questions still and remember we've not heard directly from the president on this one yet. This is a lose-lose for the White House. It's absolutely a lose-lose for the White House. The president I think in the midst of all of this every single step he seems to make in this is a, like it, his tweets yesterday I think are a perfect example of how he only hurts himself in this. Jeff Flake, he attacks Jeff Flake who's what he needs. He, 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 he goes after in a dispute with LeVar Ball saying basically he should leave the basketball players in in uh, in China in the midst of this. No one knows really fully why he's doing this. I have one theory though. He is mad about LeVar Ball's uh, shoe line, the big baller line. I think Donald Trump has his own shoe line, air grievances. <laughs> air grievances. You worked hard overnight. <laughs> <laughs> I thought you topped out a men in black, but then you put the wrong with that. Don't you like it, air yeah. grievances? I like that. <laughs> All right. Thank you, Matt.